There's a beautiful scripture in Galatians that I just love. On further reflection, one could say that all of the Bible is beautiful with great blessing and meaning. So I suppose I should say, there is a verse in Galatians that has special meaning for me, and it gives me great comfort and help. I'm referring to the two verses in Galatians 4, verses 4 and 5, where St. Paul tells us, But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. This passage assures me of the fact that not one single thing is going to happen but that it was ordained of God, that God is in charge of the affairs of men and of nations, so far as that is concerned. In this case, the apostle is telling us that when it was time for Jesus to be born, he was born. He came not too early and not too late, but precisely, exactly when God wanted it to happen. So the length of our life, we have a birthday and we have a death day, and God is in charge of both. I remember in the 1940s of a dynamic preacher by the name of Peter Marshall. He attracted huge crowds of people because of his spellbinding preaching. His wife Catherine wrote a best-selling book entitled A Man Called Peter. Peter Marshall was an amazing man who died suddenly of a heart attack on the morning of January 25th, 1949, at the age of 46 years. In one of his sermons he had said, When the clock strikes for me, I shall go. Not one minute early, not one minute late. Until then, he said, there is nothing to fear. I know that the promises of God are true. They have been fulfilled in my lifetime again and again. Jesus still teaches and guides and protects and heals and comforts and still wins our complete trust and love. Peter Marshall was right, 100% right. Whether we die at 46 or whether we outlive 969-year-old Methuselah, it's all in God's hands. He will not take us too soon or not too late. He's always on time, every time, in every situation. That is the one beautiful thing about our Christian faith. Nothing is left to chance or luck or good fortune or accident or whatever you want to call it. We place ourselves in God's loving hands knowing that he'll do the best for us. That's not to mean we do not have a choice. God made us as free moral agents to make choices. So it was that Joshua challenged the children of Israel in saying, Choose ye this day whom ye will serve. The choice to take heaven or hell it lies in our own free will. Jesus told us as clear as a bell, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 3, verse 36. So between our birthday and our death day, we have many choices to make, many different roads to travel. But as for me and my house, we will choose the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the choice is ours, and I pray that all of us will choose wisely and choose Jesus. And we'll give you thanks in his name. Amen.